If you look closely, I think you may agree that this one simple image right here pretty much speaks for the entire case and everything we need to see in terms of what is going on here we can see very nicely. Uh, you could instantly recognize this as being a papillary mucosa of some type of uh, uh, tubular structure and that's indeed what it is. It's a tube. It's a fallopian tube. You could appreciate the fact that it is lined by these little papillary growths of simple uh, columnar epithelium. You can also see the smooth muscle of the tube and uh, without uh, straining your eyes too much you can see that there is some inflammation going on in this tube as well. Why might that be? Oh by the way you can see that the serosal uh, blood vessels right underneath the uh, uh, mesothelium here are dilated as well. And then we see structures which in a way look like uh, papilla, only for some reason they decided to call these villi rather than papilla. And when you think about it, villi and papilla uh, almost are uh, conceptually interchangeable uh, words. They are structures which branch and they have more of a connective tissue core and more of an epithelioid outside. Um, however, uh, in our course of this uh, course, we sometimes use the term villi and sometimes use the word papillae. These are papillae. These are villi. These are chorionic villi. These are immature chorionic villi because they do not have any blood vessels within the cytotrophoblast. They have a loose mesenchyme uh, type of appearance. And, oh, maybe you could possibly think that perhaps uh, in a couple of areas there might be the beginning of blood vessels. But for the m most part, these villi are small and immature enough. You don't see any blood inside of them in most places. Yeah, maybe there's a little vessel there, to regard these as immature villi. Immature villi are basically the main types of villi for the first trimester of pregnancy, the first three months. And um, that is also the time period for an ectopic pregnancy in which you might have a fetus and amnion and chorionic villi present in a place where it shouldn't normally be, and that's the fallopian tube. This is an ectopic pregnancy. Uh, the vast majority of ectopic pregnancies are intratubal rather than ovarian or intra-abdominal, and they can cause uh, pain. They can cause symptoms. Uh, the tube can rupture, you know, the, the, the patient can die. That doesn't happen too often now because nowadays every uh, woman of childbearing age that comes into the emergency room with any type of abdominal uh, symptom gets an HCG assay. Uh, here's a big uh, recent uh, blood clot. It may not even be blood, a blood clot. It may just be blood. Perhaps if we go a little bit closer and we can see some fibrin strands, I could tell you it's a clot rather than just blood, but it looks like it's just blood cells. So it's recent hemorrhage. It is a nice first trimester embryo. Uh, I believe you call this neuroectoderm. This is mesenchyme. I guess if I was really smart, I could tell you this was part of the cerebellum or something like that. I really don't know. Um, here is the nice thin uh, amnion. Isn't that beautiful? Here is the chorion, chorionic villi with syncytiotrophoblast on the outside and cytotrophoblast on the inside. They are immature because they're first trimester, but we knew that from looking at the state of this embryo anyway. And if you want to say, hey, well, you know what? I think this is a blood vessel or here, or here within the villi, then I'll back off a little bit. For the most part, these are avascular structures because they can receive their nutrition just from diffusion rather than uh, blood vessels. And last but not least, here is the mucosa. 
or the uh, papillary uh, villi, mucosal villi of the fallopian tube. Usually you see the villi in the larger uh, lumened parts of the tube, like the infundibulum and the ampulla. And uh, here is the wall in we, which we could see some uh, inflammatory changes. And maybe that's because the uh, fetus was distending this tube. Um, thank you very much.